right, folks, Eddie Smith here, Country Road Entertainment. We are live again. And just like the podcast of these live streams that we're doing, we have another first that we're doing live. Um, we've never done a band interview live. And uh, to take that a step further, uh, the band today, Counting Line, as you all saw on the events, they have a new album that's just been released. And we're going to be talking about that today. I'm going to go ahead and bring them on. If you all have any questions or anything like that, the chat is live. Uh, so we'll be taking any questions that you have during the feed. Hey, all welcome. Thank you, Eddie. Hey. How's it going? Thank you. How is everybody? We this is kind of a reunion for us. Yeah. Other than <laughs> other than Kyle, we we haven't seen each other uh, since this whole thing started. So we we've all kind of been in our own little corners and uh yeah I, I think we're doing all right i think we're pretty lucky compared to most people but uh yeah we want to play again well that's, yeah. uh, I, I i need you guys to start playing again i need to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> not you guys playing i i can't work <laughs> I'm losing my mind. so I, I don't how many of you all have kids let's get a one we all two. do we're all okay all all yeah, sick of us so so let me ask you this. How many of you, have you ever had to be a stay at home parent? Yep. Uh, oh. <laughs> Marissa does no. that uh, full time. Yep. All right. Well, I'm a stepfather and I've been married one year so, and I've been with my wife. I know it sounds uh, short, but um, just about two years. Okay. And uh, while well, the engagement was supposed to be a lot longer, that's a whole nother story, but you can catch that on our YouTube channel. <laughs> you talk about that one time. I won't tell you what video, but um I have never been a stay at home dad. I was, it was literally just, you know, get married at Eddie instant family. I got a 15 year old and a nine year old and nobody, nobody could have warned me um, as to how hard that was going to be. So, <laughs> so if How's it going, Marissa? Oh man, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how you do it, Marissa. I mean, do you yeah. have any tips? I'm 40 years old. I never had kids. It was my second marriage. Give me your wisdom. Let's see it. And I know uh, folks are going to be watching and they're going to be like, oh, does she have any tips? Because I'm losing my mind too. Yeah. Um, well, really, my tip before this all happened would be to like spend time for yourself and like go jam out with your buddies, but uh, can't do that anymore. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I have it seven weeks. You got, you got so. Mike's Sorry. got like 12 kids, I think. So he's probably got some tips. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, man. I got I got four kids, and two of them have boyfriend, girlfriend at the house, and four dogs, and trying to work from home and be uh, the teacher as well has uh, been fun. Yeah, I see. That's the challenge I'm having. I I, I can't seem to get like I, I can get a couple of hours in the day of actual work work, um, but the rest forget about it. You know, if, I, I don't know. And it's, it's funny, my, my, my 15 year old daughter, she's easy. She does her work. You send her to do chores. She doesn't talk back. And as long as and once, once she's all done with that, then the house goes quiet. You know, she's napping. Now my nine year old, <laughs> super smart bastard guy. Just, I, I don't know what's going on. He's just cranky lately. I, I got nothing. <laughs> And of well, course, and it's not like he's my blood kid. So I'm like calling my wife at work. I'm like, babe, what do I do? And she's like, you can't call me at the office. She's essential. She works for the state of Arizona. God bless her. But nice. I'm, like, I'm like, can you come home? Are they going to send you home with a laptop? Because I, I can't, I can't. And she keeps telling me to call my parents. My parents don't want to talk to me. They don't want to hear this. They have no sympathy for me in this. None. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, sometimes you need uh, some special water just oh, to stay okay. hydrated throughout the day. You see, you know what? Uh, that's that's gonna, my tip. That's my tip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You're, you're gonna you're gonna dig this. So, um, right before um, we started, see on Facebook, technically, um, you you can only have water on a video, and of course, we're live on Facebook and YouTube. And um, that's all we're drinking. You know, this Yeti has the ice coldest water I've ever <laughs> tasted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a little brown, but you know, hey, whatever works. <laughs> yeah. really my, uh, my my hops and vines glass here is uh, nice and cool with uh, lots of refreshing water as well. 
<laughs> lemon in the bottom there. I, I have a lot of respect for you. Well, <laughs> well, I do not have a special cup like that. So if I, if the camera turns away from me, it's because I'm drinking my water. Excellent. So. <laughs> well, you know, the only terms of services nowadays, it's like I can get away with so much on YouTube. Just don't have anybody under the age of 13 in your video and then everything goes to hell. God forbid you have your kid in there. To, but but if you want to drink an adult beverage, you know, and buy it, it's fine on YouTube. Facebook, man, they are so huh. Yeah. And we saw that they – did they stop some of your posts or services lately? Is that what we saw? Um, we still don't know exactly. I can tell you what happened. We don't know what the cause is. Did, did you all – I don't. I, I guess you didn't catch the video. That was actually a video post. Um, literally, I posted a, uh, a message stating happy birthday to literally – I think she was like our third follower on Country Road Entertainment like three years ago when I started the company. That was it. Happy birthday. Shared it to Live Country Music in Arizona, which is our main group. And then the screen just literally went white and started asking who I was. How dare you? How I, dare you, Eddie? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I might as well just be a spammer at that point, guys. If I can't wish you happy birthday, what can I do? I mean, <laughs> Lord. you know, and I already went as far as because like on our YouTube channel, we try to mix it up and and. and um, we, we don't always do straight, you know, interviews or what I call a music vlog is when I travel with a band or something like that. We, we try to, you know, every now and then we used to try to involve the family, but evidently you can't do that on YouTube mm. and, on, and on Facebook, you can't wish happy birthday. So I, I, I really don't know. I, I got nothing. We got no tips for you. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have any tips for me, but <laughs> all I know is I keep getting emails and text messages going, well, why'd they do it? And then honest to, to, to goodness, I have no clue. Um, in the past, I've been flagged as a spammer. And what we what we did find out after an investigation is the, the one person who was doing, he was, there was some shares, but he was actually flagging our advertisements. The guy just didn't like us. So he was actually from Tucson. Thanks, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> By the way, County Life, you guys are located in Tucson, right? We are, and and I don't want to, you know, cause a, a problem. But it was actually our bass player Dan who was flagging your posts. <laughs> uh, Dan's so not on. Yeah, Dan's <laughs> not on here. Um, he was, was offended by your, your previous advertisements, so he. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought I, I really was. <laughs> you had <laughs> mom. If you no. thing, I'm as old. So. We're we're just busting uh, Dan Barry, Dirty Dan's uh, chops. He couldn't uh, okay. be on here uh, on the on the video with us. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys are in Tucson. Um, for everyone, so again, this is a uh, County Line band. Do you guys just like to go by County Line or the County Line band? Because I I I've seen it two ways for you. Well, that's a good story. Uh, so we are the county line. So if anyone is is searching for us on iTunes or Spotify or whatever, it's under the county line. Uh, we've been called everything that you could ever imagine. Um, I, I think most of the time we're, we're called the country line uh, when people screw that up. Yeah, that's um, I think our favorite, though, is we were one time introduced before we started playing as the country trees. So... <laughs> The country Hello. trees. Okay. The country Where trees. The trees came in. <laughs> <laughs> but we are the, the county line. Nice. <laughs> we actually got booked one oh. time as a different band than, than the county line. <laughs> that? No, I, I've heard another of Another county line. Oh, I, I've actually heard of that happening a lot. Uh, so they did they think you were the other county line? Were they out of uh, Iowa or something? Yeah. You know, I, don't even like know, I don't know if you ever found out where they were from, but we, we sure found out from the person who booked us that we weren't the right county <laughs> line when we started playing. So. That's brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> well, hey, we got some comments here, uh, and I think we found your Dirty Dan. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, okay. He won't be broadcasting. The software only allows. Well, he can come in. I just can. That's what I was saying. I could just cycle out who's on the screen at one time. Dan, if you oh, want to come in, you can you can come in. Jump in there, Dan. I will do my best to answer. Yeah, Dan, come on in. You're good. And then, well, he 
Dan, Dan likes to comment. Here's another one. <laughs> I guess I should get another <laughs> Dan Blair for the county line. Uh, <laughs> Eddie, before we established it. <laughs> Eddie. Yeah, this this might have been our plan to actually keep him out of here. So um, <laughs> it, be careful. Be careful if you let Dan. Up, you, <laughs> you guys are brutal. That's <laughs> heck of a There's a reason why he's called dirty. <laughs> we have another comment regarding that. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, this chat looks to be just like two of them right now. Dan acknowledges and. <laughs> that, that might be my brother he's okay. got some special water too but i appreciate it i appreciate it <laughs> too funny whoa wow wow dirty dan kind of brutal over here <laughs> so most of us swap me out for dirty dan and i'll go get my special water <laughs> definitely encourage it there's nothing wrong with that here i mean see, that, that's the weirdest thing i, I if so we've never all met, and, and that's partially my fault. fault. I Usually when, I, when I get to Tucson, um, we want to hit the venues and go say hello and meet y'all, but my in-laws are down there. My wife oh. is actually from Tucson. So the last handful of times I've been down to Tucson, and I'm sure my in-laws are going to be watching too, um, but um, mom likes us to, to follow her structure and her plans. So when this does lift, I'm specifically scheduling a trip to do – one thing, park my RV at their house and then disappear. And nice. you'll find me around town. So <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, let's see here. Wow. This just, I love the commentary here. We got a Kelly. My that'd favorite. Be, uh, that, that'd be the boss. Uh, that's the boss. She's the, the warden at home. And uh, if you couldn't tell, Eddie, most of us work together. Uh, most of us have known each other for a long time. And there's a lot of, a lot of teasing, a lot of harassing. Um, a lot of crap like that that goes on within the band. Um, we were really worried that uh, Marissa, after she got to know us, would want to leave. Uh, so we had to tone it down for a little bit. Um, but we're, we're grateful that she stuck around. They're working back up to their normal level. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so how, okay, so when you say work together, so like in the professional sense, are we talking? We do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's – so four of us, uh, Kyle, Mike, myself, and Dan, we all work for uh, the city down here in Tucson, and we've known each other for a long time. And so we've had a chance to, to kind of get to know one another and uh, tease each other and, and berate each other. And we originally started out as a as kind of like a 90s cover band, uh, playing rock oh, music. Oh, 90s cover band? Yeah, like rock I really music think against it, but did you guys like like how many you how many '90s cover bands are there? Well, I don't know how many. There are actually a lot of really good puddle of mud songs, um, but we'd cover all that that type of stuff. And then uh, probably 2014, 2015, we kind of switched over to playing country. We had some uh, changes with the uh, the lead singers, and finally we found Nick. And uh, really, we had been playing country a little bit before then, but we we totally transitioned into playing country when Nick joined the band. Uh, he's been interested in in all the traditional country for for years and years, and that's kind of how we got to this point. Uh, Marissa joined us last year and really rounded out the sound with with bringing the actual you know fiddle and that traditional country sound to the band. Oh, and we're going to touch on that later. By the way, we're definitely going to. Uh -oh. He's got some critiques for you, Marissa. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> not at all. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. So, I, I'll, I'll, you know, say a little back. Um, um, you all sent me um, the link to the um, to the album, and we're asking for a review. And we got as soon as everybody decided to get sick and spread all this stuff in China, I got a little behind. So, um, but yeah, I, I the fiddle is, you know. The fiddle is one of my favorite interest or instruments. Rather, um, it's like up there with the steel guitar. It's mm -hmm. not always there. It's that that one little piece that when you add, just really makes the sound every time. You know, I mean, because yeah. not every band yeah, has it. And the second you someone pops up on the stage and starts playing the fiddle, now you're staying. People that weren't going to dance are now dancing, and the and the venue loves you for it. You know? Absolutely, yep. absolutely. And there's only a handful of them you know, in the state. And, um, I would say even less than that, that's like really, 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 you know, um, 
talented in that sense. I mean, I've seen some people try. Yeah, yeah. she is. Oh, I've heard. You know, <laughs> I have to say I am a fan of the album. But, you know, we'll, well, thank you. We're working. In, we're working into that. Well, and the thing is, is we've never had John. So you know, for those that haven't, like up in the valley, that aren't familiar with you. Now's the chance for them to get uh, familiar with you. And we, we work with a lot of venues up here, and some of them are sponsors, and, and they'll be seeing this. So hopefully that's awesome. that encourage them. So, you know, that's that's kind of the end all goal here. Uh, let's take another one. Uh, I got a Jessica Young. I don't know if you all know Jessica Young. Hey. We do. Yeah. We do. Yes. Nice. These are our Flagstaff peeps. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. Can't, don't you want to? Can't, don't you want to? Right there. No, we, we met actually, uh, we, we kind of skipped over Phoenix uh, geography wise. We play a lot here in, in mm -hmm. Tucson and uh, we had the chance to go up and, and we played at the, the Big Sting for the last couple of years. And because of what we do, they uh, they put our camp spot next to a bunch of great people who happen to be in the in the same profession. And so we got to meet Jessica and Justin and, and Jason, a bunch of great people that uh, we got to got to know over the years, and so Flagstaff has been extremely supportive of us uh, for the last couple of years. We appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome! You know, and Flagstaff is not easy to get into, in my opinion. I I, I manage a band up here. Um, I want to say begrudgingly and hesitantly at the beginning. So, um, but I, I work with a band called Highway Two Hundred and Sixty, and um, they do a lot of road work. And Flagstaff, um, yeah, yeah, that's. That's uh, hard to get into. So if you guys got that um, that following up there and, and the people are digging you, you're doing the right thing. That's all Mikey Miller, the MVP up there. He's <laughs> uh, he's out there reaching out to everyone. Uh, I, I think he might have like offered his kids to work for these venues for a little <laughs> bit to, to get us in there. <laughs> I won't turn them in. Well, <laughs> Calf Country up there in uh, Flagstaff has been real, real good to us. Uh, Vicky, the morning show up there, they, they – enjoy having us up there all the time so shout oh. out to them mm -hmm. so wait oh dan i'm gonna bring dan in here in a second <laughs> so so dan are you making this rumor up or are you trying to get me <laughs> i had a nickel for every time someone called me up can i hear a rumor you're gonna that our band is gonna be playing at this venue and then my only response is i don't know did you i just you know <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well, some of these folks are brutal oh uh, here's a, yeah. a message from louise, louise that's my mom oh <laughs> my mom uh, my mom, my mom. For joining. <laughs> that's awesome since there are six of us with our significant others you we knew you at least have six viewers uh, for this one, so <laughs> well, that's good. You know, I invited my wife, but yeah, she's not coming. How did, uh, did everything go all right yesterday, Eddie? Oh, so uh, I, I assume maybe y'all heard what I almost did. Yeah, I, so, I didn't didn't tell. Didn't want oh, to ruin. So when we were setting up the um, and for whoever's watching, um, uh, as we were scheduling. Um, this cast an interview um i want to note that my wife and i had actually had talked two hours before and we were planning you know what events we're going to you know partake in our birthday which isn't a whole lot because you know we're in isolation but anyway so i had had the conversation and then we were scheduling it and i actually said it for yesterday which was her birthday and almost instantly realized i was in trouble because i was I <laughs> over her and i said hey babe Okay, so we got county line set up for tomorrow at five o'clock, and we're we're good to go. And you look at that, and he's like that's fine. It's only my birthday, and walk <laughs> off. <laughs> so, and I want to mention again, happy I've birthday! Been, I've only been married to this woman for a year, and I'm like, hopefully, I get a pass the first time. It was, a, it was used it way too early. <laughs> What's that? You used your pass way too early. You're only a year in. Yeah. Yeah, we got some veterans here. Mike and Kyle have each been married how long? How long you been married, Mike? Uh, 21 years. 20 Kyle, years. Kyle's afraid to say. 
Oh, yeah. Well, what's worse, this is my second marriage. But I'll tell you, if you were giving me a scorecard, I'm doing much better this time. <laughs> Not that my first marriage was great. It was awful. But the reality is, is every mistake I made then, whether <laughs> how I ended, I'm making sure it doesn't happen this time. Right. Learning from your right. mistakes. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> the worst thing that you can do, though, is buy a house with your new wife and kids and then end up accidentally moving three miles away from your ex-wife. Mm. No. <laughs> I, I can't wait to write a book. It's going to be <laughs> <laughs> everything not to do post-divorce. Well, you forget about these things. You know, nine, ten years goes by. They were married or like almost out the shoe. No big deal until you walk into each other at Trader Joe's. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's Trader Joe's, yeah, that's no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. I, I, I'm not going to mention it, but um, we've got some experience on the team with uh, <laughs> with some some divorces. But uh, yeah, we're we're kind of seasoned professionals with it as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the actual <laughs> oh, when speaking of divorce, if one of you can actually, uh, and I forgot to ask this before, and I apologize, if you guys have a virtual tip jar of any sort. Um, send that over to me in uh, Messenger or text right now so I can actually drop that up on the screen here and there for the chatters. So if they want to contribute to you all, since if you have one, again, since you're not playing, they're welcome to. We're, we're a big – we really push that hard up here in the Valley. No, I – you know, honestly, we've uh, – we don't have one. Okay. Uh, all, all of us are, are very fortunate in this time. You know, we've all got jobs where we're able to uh, go to work, um, Marissa, she's always at work 24 seven, but our, our families are all taken care of. Well, that's uh, so we don't want your money. We don't want anything like that. If, uh, if you've got money that you want to spend, uh, go, go get some food at one of the local restaurants and, and help them out, help some of these small businesses stay afloat. Yes, please do that folks. Um, all the places that are doing takeout, um, and there are actually bars and restaurants in my area that are doing. Uh, contactless delivery, which is awesome. That's cool. And I mean, come on, you get a cocktail delivered to your door. <laughs> and then, uh, hey, babe, are you home? Do you think they can deliver a shot of Fireball from Joe Lee's? Find out. <laughs> okay. All right, right I'll, now. I'll send you the address. Awesome. <laughs> so, those of you who are just joining, and I'm going to get to a couple of more, more of your comments, and then we're going to go into the next portion here. Um, Welcome. We have the County Line Band today. We're um, introducing them. Well, I really want to saturate them up here in the Valley, so definitely ask your questions. Get to know the band. We're going to talk about their new album here momentarily. Um, and if you're new here, be sure to uh, follow us on Facebook at Country Road Entertainment and YouTube at Country Entertainment. And we have that subscribe button right there with that alert notification. And every time we have uh, new guests on the air these days while we're in quarantine, you can get an alert. And then you have something fun to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, do we have any? Okay. My 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 darling wife is. Uh, I I can't hear her. She's asking me something. Sorry. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> no. But everything okay? Okay. Yeah. I don't think just, she knew we were here. Just let her know that it's the county line. If she the if that's line. what she was asking. Okay. If she was, <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, honey, it's the county line from Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> I'm sure she did. No, she did. <laughs> my, my wife, she has a full time job and then works for me part time on top of that. So, and, and and the thing was, is that, you know, God bless her because after, once this all started, you know, for us, my income level went down and she keeps going down to the state, you know, and, I'd like to tell you that there's some stories um, that they're not telling us. And every time she leaves in the morning, I cringe at the front door. So we just want her to come home healthy. Absolutely. So what do we got over here? Um, oh, and I got to bring in, we're going to bring Dan in here in just a second. I wish I would have done it when he was walking around the house. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have Bill Witt. <laughs> This is amazing. Joe is my cousin in New Jersey. Um, she's never joined anything that I'm aware of before. Joe, good to see you. Hope you're good. Looks like that picture you got some 
Is that Chinese food or dog's paws? I can't tell. Uh, I'm gonna my cut, uh, first, first of all, that that's not true. There was no love involved in that. All right. <laughs> Uh, J Jason was our first singer back in the day when the 90s uh, rock yeah. stuff. I, I was kind of worried Jason. about Love the you. comment over here. Which one? Which <laughs> comment? Having Mark's love child is what it says. <laughs> I think we're all having Mark's child. <laughs> and I guess, it went, what did Jill say? And not a spouse are getting paid to be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Joe! I, none of us are really here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Kit here. I don't know if you are. You guys familiar with the Donnie Grubb band? No, no. This is Donnie. Know. This is Donnie yeah. Grubb's drummer. Donnie um, has a band up here. He does um, a lot of mix-ins for bands and musicians around the country. So let's nice. just say, you know, a musician is working on an album in Nashville and they need a guitar piece. He actually will record that in his home studio, from what I understand. Oh, nice. that's great! Nice. They Very have a cool. cool. He has a pull, the, him and Kit have a cool podcast too. You should check out. Uh, let's see. We'll take one more, and then we're going to go to Dan. Got an Aaron Buffalo. That's my stepmom. What's up, Aaron? Hey, Aaron. How are you? Hi, stepmom. <laughs> Mom. Whatever she prefers. I know in my house, I prefer you know, pop or dad. My kids call me, but. <laughs> God bless the parents. I have a lot of respect for them being one. All right. Yeah, so let's see here if I can. Okay. So we're at our six limit. Who do I sacrifice for them? Who wants to be sacrificed for a moment? I don't mind. Yeah, I'm good. I need, to get, I need to get a special water. You got to get a special water. Okay. We're going to actually, you know what? Before you do that, let's do this. I'm going to try and take me off. And why don't we do a roll call and one by one introduce ourselves um, and our. You know, piece in the band, i.e., vocals, fiddle, percussion, what have you, just so everyone can get to know y'all. So, right. uh, pull. So, I'll be back in a Hey, everyone. Hey. Hello. Hey. hey. Who's Dan? Any more light? I don't know that guy. You don't know me. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, I think they want uh, everyone to go through and introduce themselves and say what you do in the band. Maybe. Kyle, you're up. Kyle? I feel like the Brady Bunch. Can I look? Hey, Dan. Hi, <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Kyle. I am uh, the drummer for the county line. Michael. That Dan? <laughs> Michael you, Miller. You also sing a little bit. You sing a little bit too, right? Not on purpose, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you do, do once in a while. Yeah. They are never ever going to have us on again. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm mike miller i'm uh the rhythm guitar player for the band i do backup vocals as well and he's also uh, the manager I give a mean back massage he does give a mean back massage and he is yeah. the manager <laughs> anytime you call he uh, will answer. well <laughs> yes call me anytime except for at night mark i'm mark ewings play guitar and the spoons for the county line. Spoons. Nice. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Is it? Oh, hey, how's everyone doing? I'm Dan. Uh, I play bass guitar. Um, been doing that for about uh, six months, just picking it up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> also, the band comedian, I guess, or uh, stepchild, I guess you could say, and uh, the only grandpa in the band. So, Ooh. Hey. yes. <laughs> Yes. Grandpa Dan. My turn? Yeah. Yep. Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining. If you're watching, I am Nick, and I am the lead singer and rhythm guitarist of the Kenny Line. Nope, <laughs> that way. That way. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marissa. I am the fiddle player of the Kenny Line, and I've been with them since, what was it, June? So... I'm the newest one, fresh blood, and yep, I'm the fiddle player, as you can see here. <laughs> and yeah. We'll let Kyle go get his uh, ice water. How you doing, Eddie? 
Hey, <laughs> how you doing, Dirty Dan? <laughs> How's your day treat? It's wonderful. I, I'd like to say that you probably didn't plan on cracking jokes and sarcastic humor today. Not at all. Oh, you did. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We can always count on him. Right. So how are you doing with all of this going on, Dan? Uh, as well as everyone else. I mean, yeah, uh, bad, huh? I, I'm pretty fortunate. Like the rest of the guys said, uh, you know, we've, uh, our, our employer is uh, very generous to us and hasn't uh, let us go or anything like that. And uh, I'm actually been working from home quite a bit. So uh, uh, it's driving me a little crazy, but it's not too bad. Ready for uh, us to get back together and play a little music though. It's been too long. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going to touch that here in a little bit actually why don't we take a second now i um didn't i don't know if there's something going on today but um i have been listening to the album if you guys want to have a direct link for me at some point um that i can use that'd be great but um uh if we i'm gonna i'm gonna play one of your songs right now for the folks on another channel and um then we'll we'll talk about it a bit but if we hear any like audio drops I, again, I didn't notice this the other day, but I seem to be having it coming off the website today, so that that's not something I can control, um, but we're going to hope it doesn't happen. So. Actually, now that I think about it, it could be us because my internet's been out in and out of the office all day. Nothing like having a studio that does live <laughs> cast, and then the internet goes out like an hour before while I'm working on something else. Oh, great. <laughs> Here we go. This was the part that we worked really hard on, this specific spot right there. And of course, here we go. Go up and ask your name. We'll try that again. <laughs> Evidently, yeah, before the cast when we were doing my sound check, I uh, apparently muted the channel the uh, recorder is coming in on. So for y'all that's watching, the album is called Last Call. And this song is called Last Call. I just want to talk about this for one second here. That's coming through okay on your end, right? Can you all yeah. hear it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to talk about this one, you probably need to bring Kyle back in. Well, we can, but I just want for everybody at home, as much as we, you know, well, as musicians and as a, a promoter, I'm used to being there at last call. But who miss here, here, like actually misses hearing someone yell from security, right? Last call, right? Now. Right. <laughs> you know, I just want to point that as soon as I heard that, I'm like, you know, I kind of, I kind of miss that right now. You know, of course, I miss going past the edge of my driveway. So, <laughs> hey, you guys get to work. I literally, I am not. So, I have a, um, a, uh, breathing issue that has developed of late so i'm literally not allowed to leave the house you know uh -oh. wow. Last, you know, i was in the hospital yeah. a few weeks ago after doing a trip up to uh uh matt saloon i was up there with southbound and i was literally told by the hospital um not to go anywhere because if i did get it i had like a less than a 50 percent chance so oh, crap. But on a positive note we're gonna go back to your album instead of talking about <laughs> COVID 19. okay COVID 19 bad <laughs> Last call. Okay. Work up the nerve to walk up and ask your name. Then the lights 
slipped on and the bartender said his thing. Last call doesn't mean it has to be the end of the night. Let's get out of here where we can spend a little more time. Well, we end up in the parking lot. Head to my favorite spot. No last call to me. It's the end of the night. All right, let's talk about that. So, um, who did you say we need to bring on? For that? Bring it, Kyle. You can zip That's me out Kyle. again. Bye, everyone. Oh, but you Dan, Dan, Dan. go anywhere. If I find you disappear from the screen, we'll, we will. That's won't. okay. You can bring Kyle in. He need, he needs to talk about this. <laughs> okay. What do I need to do? Oh, thank you. So you've been dubbed to tell us about uh, last call. Oh, okay, gotcha. You know, the last call was a uh, was a song that I wrote. Uh, I was actually inspired more by uh, what goes on after we finish playing, and when we're playing out somewhere, and when we hear that last call thing. For us, that's kind of sometimes when the party actually gets started. Actually, we get our stuff broken down, and we we head out and. And I would give a shout out to the Waffle House because we're <laughs> going <laughs> up at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was it was more inspired by by all the stuff that, that goes on, all the the fun things that we end up doing, and the memories we make after we finish playing. Although we we enjoy playing so much, but then once we're done, we actually have just a blast. So so that's what that's all about. See, I don't know. After all the years I've been, so I, I, you know, I, I actually started in mu music as a guitar player back in the '90s, um, and uh, I'm a little known secret. It actually was with a metal band. Don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then an alternative band um, named Epidemic, but um, and then later vocals. But coming into my where I am now in the industry. Um, I have found when that last call sound goes off and the band says, come hang out with us. You have a 50, 50 shot of that going for, well, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and this is about you guys, but like, if you ever go on our, uh, our channel, we do have a confessions of a music promoter um, video. We're going to do more, but that one was the Vegas one. And it wasn't until, um, Gosh, I was actually in Vegas with my wife when we were dating when someone texted me and had seen that and, and made some comments and regarding it. And I actually literally texted her back from the hotel room in Las Vegas. I've never been to Las Vegas with you. And she's like, you were there while my husband was on stage playing bass. How like so um, it took two years for a lot of that night to come back. <laughs> yeah, that really clicked right there. I was like, oh, that's what happened. OK. <laughs> you were telling me to lay off the whiskey that time. I don't know. You guys were buying. You guys had the tabs. They were that was at the um, Illy. So yeah. So all right. So I, I I would I have to ask. So we have we have six tracks on this album. I, instead of turning over here, I'm going to bring this over here. Um. So just to rattle through the song titles, we have Last Call. What about Texas? A24, I have a question about that. View, the grass isn't greener and drive. So who, um, now are these all written by different ones of one of y'all or? Yeah. It was? So pretty much Nick wrote four of them. Kyle wrote two of them. And uh, they let the rest of us be on the album with them. So we, we appreciate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so who's from Texas? That is what I want to know. Is there one of you from Texas, or is that no? Yeah, I went Kyle no. pointing. <laughs> he he would like to be. Who who oh, wants to like move to, to next? Who wants to move to Texas? <laughs> well, <laughs> it says in one of the songs that I want to, but I I can't. At least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Nick, so the backstory here. I love it. 
So why Nick, tell tell everyone why uh, every song has a little Texas reference in it? Um, because Texas is awesome. Um, I I went and uh, visited some friends in uh, the Dallas area um, a few years ago, and we went to uh, Fort Worth, and we drove down to Austin, and it, it just everything about it. The people there are amazing. The food, the barbecue that I had there is amazing. The land, so. Um, it's just, well, that's because you went to I love it there. Austin's awesome. Now go to Houston and you'll never want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I had a contract in Houston. So I, I was in, um, I was a engineer in IT for over 20 years and I had a contract in Houston and I had to commute from uh, the Valley to Texas. And when you go to Houston, I've been all over Texas, but if you just went to Houston, you wouldn't want to go back. Yeah, the traffic is horrible. <laughs> I went to dinner one day. Took 15 minutes to get there. Decided I wanted to go to the same neighborhood the next night for dinner. Took me an hour and a half to get there. You don't want to get to Houston. You think yeah. you, you know? Actually, you guys got it easy in Tucson. I mean, you you only got the one freeway, but still, traffic ain't that bad, right? Uh, it, it, it's bad. This for us, well, y'all work for the hey. city. You tell me. <laughs> you know, you, you're talking some smack about Houston, but Houston is our number one listener on Spotify. Oh, I love Texas. It don't matter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go refill my water, so I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Bring, I, bring I, Dirty Dan oh, back in. No big deal. Here we go. All right. We'll just put Kyle and Marissa right next to each other. <laughs> Kyle's just going to reach over and just do this. Wow. My wife wanted to point out that she feels like I'm personally responsible for us not playing up in the Phoenix area very much because I wore this shirt. I apologize. Yeah. Um, well, you, you, good job, Kyle. I'll tell you this, you wear that shirt to this house and you'd be right in the middle of a fight. See, I'm a Sun Devil fan, and my wife and kids are all Wildcat fans. And, okay. I, and, and anytime I pull anything out that's Sun Devil related, like the hammer comes down on me. I don't understand it. That's so unfair. It's like three to one. Now, mind you, the only piece of memorabilia they keep forgetting I have is right behind me with all of my camera gear, and they never notice it. And it's like that big. So you walk into my door, I specifically put it so that everybody gets to see Sparky. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, we didn't want well, Dan appreciate. to be part of the uh, – we didn't want Dan to be part of the show because he went to ASU as well, so he's – He's excited about that. He's oh, for sending that. us messages. Yeah, for <laughs> <come>, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's actually got his sparky tattoo going on. That's don't you? right, right there, baby, right there. Love it. <laughs> I dig it. Now we're gonna show our these two stop people don't know what they're talking about. Sorry, <laughs> is that really a sparky? See, see, that, this is what ha this is the effect I have them. Um, they're all speechless now. <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm, I'm getting that Marissa is actually the quiet one in the band. <laughs> what have you done to that poor girl? That's what I want to know. What have you guys done? See, anytime you see a band, we've corrupted you know, her. That, uh, you know, five five guys, six guys, and one one gal. You, you wonder about how much trauma she's been put through. You know, the, the one who's been really corrupted is this one right up here in this area, right there. Mike, right uh, there. Well, you can't go any higher than you, Mike. It's only two no. years old. Test, test. Oh, we, you know, but you know, but I'm always, I'm always about like that. This I blame all the route. He's already embarrassed, so we can make it about Marissa for the moment. Marissa, go. Yeah. So, so going through these songs, I, I really dig the fiddle. So tell me, um, what got you into um, playing the fiddle? What was your inspiration? And after that, what made you decide that you wanted to join a band? Well, um, I started playing fiddle when I was six. Um, my elementary school put on a program where all of the first graders got to take home a fiddle and a little VHS. So that's where I started, and I just – kept playing. And so growing up, I took um, old time fiddle lessons up until I was probably like 12. And then I stopped taking lessons. And from there, I played in some bluegrass bands and some a Celtic band once or twice. And I've, I've just always wanted to be in a band generally. And um, I have two kids now, a two year old and a three year old. So um, it's been a little crazy here 
And I just kind of decided that I needed to do something to remind myself that I am a person other than a mom. <laughs> so I decided to look around and see what I could do musically around. And these guys said they wanted a fiddle player. And I was like, sure. Now, now the question here is, you know, since, again, since I haven't met you all, the million-dollar question is, Marissa, what does your husband do for a living? <laughs> he is in law enforcement. See, guys? <laughs> <That's the election. laughs> Ladies, don't marry musicians. I, I've had people to tell my wife, don't marry anybody in the music industry. Lord knows why she's still here. You know. <laughs> my husband actually does play guitar as well, but he doesn't do country music. He doesn't do country music? Yeah. Hasn't he learned by you that country music makes money? I've tried so hard. can challenge me on that. But country music <laughs> is like the place to be right now. Um, as long as you're not getting into any pop music. And by the way, there is no pop music on this channel. No country. <laughs> you know, you guys want to play pop and take it up with, you know, I don't know. I don't even know who plays pop. Is that like KUPD or... I see. I don't get out much. Like I listen to only country music for the most. I mean, I'll stream. Like you'll catch me listening to some old Def Leppard here and there. Heck, you know, mm -hmm. I'm in quarantine. I bought a N Nintendo Classic Mini. Man, I had Def Leppard blaring, windows open, yeah. kicking off the neighbors, playing, <laughs> like super contra. Up until my wife decided she wanted to play Tiny Tunes, and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey Eddie, one, one of the most amazing things about Marissa, not only, I mean. Yeah. Her fiddle playing is like phenomenal. She's one of the most talented people in the band. But uh, when we have rehearsals and we play shows, I mean, they're most of them are around the Tucson area. She drives from Sierra Vista, Arizona, every time we practice. And oh, every oh, time oh, we oh, play. Marissa, you live in Sierra Vista? I do. Oh, wow. So she's, she's dedicated. <laughs> well, hey, Marissa, do you have a couple of extra bedrooms or somewhere I could park my RV? Because. Cave Canyon is not too far from Sierra Vista. I don't. I don't well, know. I I don't have property, but um, no. there's lots of space down here. <laughs> Are you familiar with Cave Canyon? No. Okay, so I I um before I decided to um, take this contract a couple years ago, I put on a few pounds. I'm actually a caver, and I'm not supposed to be saying this over here, but I'll just say that near the Mexican border. There's a lot, you know, but they're all yeah. mm -hmm. they're all with being locked. But there's some cool stuff down there that like wow. Like mm -hmm. we always stay in Sierra Vista when we go to, um, at the um, was that the Best Western or Motel Six there? Um, yeah. Yeah, we just sleep. Is that what it is? There's not a whole bunch of places in Sierra Vista this day. No, not a lot. <laughs> Eddie, we Eddie yeah. go up there like towards Montezuma. Path and, and up into that area where like is that where yeah, the caves in, are? In the park. In the park. What I got out of this conversation is that Eddie was actually working in tunnels by the Mexican border. <laughs> right. Is that oh, is that what I've heard? Right. Wow. Right. I don't know what you're talking about? Yeah, I totally <laughs> want, leave it. Leave it to a crew from like you know, Southern Arizona to leave that joke in. I. <laughs> All right. With that note. <laughs> bring Nick back on and take some comments. Uh, see, see how I'm working out of that. Because there's just, no I know I, I've known Mark for like five minutes, and I know I'm not going to get out of that. <laughs> so let's, let's say we saw Jason, um, Aaron. We got a uh, Jessica Young. Did we catch this one? Looking forward to seeing you all perform again. How can we find out about future plan shows and when they start back up? I Man, we're, you on your we're all waiting. You know, yeah, we're, we're all waiting. Uh, we all have a couple things uh, lined up right now for for May and, and June. But uh, who knows with what's going on? Um, I don't know. Invite us up to Flagstaff and we'll we'll come hang out. There's well, a, I think that one is in August. We'd have to ask Miller. Was it August? At he left. He left. Yeah, that was it's all up in here. We got another person shouting out, Dirty Dan. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Josh Roy popped in to say hello. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Josh Roy. You know what? I, I saw some of his stuff on uh, on your on your page. 
Josh, he's been doing a lot of a uh, lot of the, the live streams lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Josh yeah. is just a like uh, he's a stand-up guy. He's a really, he's a young 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 guy. I'm old. I'm probably no. I'm not older than all of you in the band. Can't be, can I? Oh, no, I'm forty. Who's older than me in the band? Marissa's like twenty-four. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Josh is. Uh, you guys got to check him out. He's pretty awesome and just a super nice guy. Real family guy. And when sometimes he pops up with these live feeds, and you think it's going to be music. Now this is before COVID nineteen, but you know you're thinking he's going to pop on with a, a guitar. The next thing you know. He pops up and he's like camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, oh, even have to you know, uh, we got Wendy here has the county line withdrawals. We love you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. See, this is my favorite part about this is when your your fans and followers pop in to say hello. <laughs> I Nick think has that a special man, relationship with Wendy. What's that now? Nick has a special relationship with Wendy. Oh, yeah, what's that? It's his mom. You didn't Wait, say hi, Nick. Mom's is here. This is so cool. Is that the third or fourth mom now? I'm losing track. Uh, yeah, Eight. that's my that's my mom. To your mom? Where's my mom? My mom never comes into my. <laughs> I've been doing this for over three years. I don't think she's actually watched video one. My dad watches only when I when he calls me up and says, "They a good band? Like, can I hear some of their music?" Sure, dude. All right. Are you gonna watch me? He's like, I don't want to watch you. I want to watch the band. <laughs> so we got a uh, Jam Lurkins. Didn't Dan learn to play bass from Tom Hurley or Tim Hurley? <laughs> wrong, guy, Jason, <laughs> wrong guy, Jason. Wrong guy. You sure he's not trying to troll you? He is. Uh, he is. Uh, okay. He is. Yeah. You, you work on the internet long enough, and it's easy to spot a troll. Okay. Yeah, let, let me tell you something about Jason. He gives a great IV. That's all I got to say. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Funny. And he says, long live Camp SB. You know what that means, Mark? Is that safe, is that safe for work? Can we just say what Camp SB is? No, no. You can't. Not. You can't. I'll you say is that, uh, you again, our, our, our folks, uh, our, our friends from, from Flagstaff and the Big Sting, uh, we got a big uh, cohesive uh, camp up there called Camp Don't You Wanna. We had an alternative name for it. Um, however, it was outvoted. And, uh, yeah, we, we can't say that here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I respect that. Uh, let's see here. Kelly Greenstreet questioned earlier, A24. Okay, so I, I think – and we, I was going to get to that. Try to get a little explanation on the name right there because I, I kind of missed that. If there's any, if there was something in the song indicating what that meant, you yeah, got to listen you know, carefully. In the song, there's not there's not a whole lot of mention of it, but it's it happens to be the gate number that, that he flies out of on, on his flight home. So, gotcha. Okay, so I guess Kelly didn't know that either. <laughs> she yeah. knew that, but that's that's her favorite song on the uh, on the record. <laughs> Now, can I don't know if you guys can. I've never asked any guests if y'all can see what I put up a, a comment on the screen. Can you see? Yeah, that one? yeah. Okay. we can. So, mom says she doesn't have a chance. Um, so I, I I think this is going back to when we were picking on Marissa. Poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, so when I do come down to see y'all, when everything lifts and everything, Marissa, don't hate me. I just you know, okay. I was defending you, but then you became the topic of discussion. So. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Kelly says to marry an accountant. Don't bring that up, <laughs> Kelly. Don't bring that up. <laughs> See, what's funny with me is if you're an accountant, you'd be out of work right now. <laughs> that's funny. My both my ex-wife and wife, when they married me, they thought they were marrying an IT engineer. <laughs> all these lies. Actually, my ex-wife wouldn't let me near a band for many years until she heard me sing. And then I was in it briefly for about five years as a vocalist um, and then got out. And But, yeah, when my when my wife and I started dating, I told her nothing about this. She She's not on Facebook. She's not on YouTube, no social media. I mean, when you see, you know, I mean, do you guys know that we do the live music listings for the entire state on our website? I assume you know because you've been on it for years. Mm. I, you know, I know we were trying. doing a poor job of it, but on my website, we have the entire state on there. Well, you had you had a competition last year, right? 
you're trying to like, yeah, vote, like the top five bands. Yeah, we're, we're and, not and actually doing that ever again. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to ask you um, what happened. Was there a Russian uh, cyber? Why did the the competition go down? What happened? There, um, I can't go into the details and specifics because uh, there was a lot of accusations that people were cheating. And since we're talking about it live, I want to assure the public, <laughs> you can't cheat on it. You just you can't. So we hired a third party on top of it. So it's not like we did some cheesy poll like on Facebook, where you can change and add. And okay, we I actually paid for a service. Like, like you know, um, you know, I was mentioning earlier. I do this full time, right? All this stuff has always come out of my pocket, and uh, I am not monetarily, you know, wealthy or independent in any way anymore. Trust me, all my money went into this, and I am, yeah. So God bless music, <laughs> but um. <laughs> What happened was there was this people were fighting and and there was some influx and people were like we we actually had a bar manager threaten me. I'm still holding on to that email. Um, it's called um, what is it called when they they accuse you of something you didn't do and say they're gonna um, uh, ruin you. Whatever we had all kinds of nonsense. So um, it got so bad. I finally got to the point where I just shut it down and said, "Here's your last five, and we're done." And um, we probably will never do another contest like that get again. There, there's, there were several individuals um, that may even be watching. I don't know <laughs> that are, that were involved in that decision um, based on their behavior. And it's like you know, listen, folks, we're trying to do something good. The reason why we do that is to. But, you know, you, you come up with, say, 50 nominations of band, right? And my name is, you know, um, John Doe, and I live in Payson, Arizona, and I know a few bands in the Valley, right? Now I've heard of, you know, uh, Downtime from Yuma and County Line from uh, Tucson, and I've never heard of them before. Now, whether or not they win is irrelevant. I just got turned on to a new band. Cause I'm looking through going, I never heard of this guy before, but yeah. I'm now inspired to look up and see who they are. Maybe I'm a new fan. That's why we do it. You know, all the influx. The problem is, is society has gotten to the point where everyone's just fighting so much, <laughs> so jealous and so competitive. I'm like you guys are missing the point. So that's why we shut it down. And starting next week, we were, we're uh, waiting on one more thing and I'll be actually um, confirming the dates, but we're going to be doing, virtual concerts which each one of the top five next week all but one actually nice um so we'll be doing well, we, awesome. and you here we want to thank you for having us on here um and and i appreciate you actually bringing us on here to announce to everyone that we actually got top in the top 500 last <laughs> year right you were actually no actually you guys were um i don't remember where you got you you guys were in the top 20 at one point weren't you or yes I, I, I have somewhere I have the notes, but you were somewhere between the top 10 and top 20. So you did fine. You really did. You know, Miller did a great job cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Eddie, Eddie, I told Sorry. you a long time ago. You, you, can you put Miller back on. You don't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are awesome. You guys ought, ought to consider uh, joining the other bands up here in the Valley. We're really trying to get break into the Tucson market more, and you know, and pay, I don't know if you're familiar with Patreon, but we have we actually have tiers um, for bands specifically. They're like sponsor tiers, and oh, cool. we do all kinds of extra cool stuff with them. And like even this, in like every year, we do a um, tour T-shirt. Actually, hang on a second here. Let me go offline. You guys couldn't hear that, right? No. Okay. So, no. like, I I usually reach over to the mixer and I'm like, no, let me just do it off the computer. And I'm going to show you one of the things we also do. So, I don't know if you saw, we, we do, um, every year we do it. They're just hanging it. Just get one out of the, out of here. Yeah. We, every year we do like a, um, an annual tour t shirt. Now, granted, like our video feeds and everything, they're they're national. I mean, we got followers all the way to the UK, and we're we're surprisingly big in New York. God bless everybody in the city, by the way. I hope you're all safe. Um, and I know some of our watchers tonight have actually been from New Jersey. Uh, anyhow, but we do a T-shirt every year, and it's in it, it, you know it's the 
Arizona Tour 2019, Arizona Tour 2020 shirt, and they're all local bands from all over the state of Arizona. We only do we only do Arizona. And my uh, wife here is bringing one in. I can try and show on the camera here. So we, if you can see it at all, that's cool. We put the band name. We put the band name, and then we put you know what city they are. They're from. And these things get um, they get sold in uh, two venues up here in the valley. Um, plus, where they're sold in three locations on the internet, and then at shows we we give some of them away. It's like free advertising. Um, and uh, you know, you should get with us in September, October when we started again. It's just it's like twenty five bucks or something like that. You got to ask my wife, but to get on it. And like all year long, you get just get blanketed all over the valley. There's all kinds of stuff that we do, but we're we're trying to reach Tucson to go. Hey, we're here. <laughs> we've been here for years, you know, because we've had people say, "Why aren't you working with Tucson?" We are. <laughs> we're banging on your door. You just didn't hear me knock. You know, that's that's really what it is. And and when you guys came out with the album, and then um, y'all reached out with to have us take a look at it. This was, you know, what I figured was a great opportunity to get you on on a cast, get you in a stream, get you in an interview, and get the album out there, and then get you guys out there. Uh, I, you know, after hearing that, I'm like, why are we not seeing them more in the valley? Now, granted, we can drive down, but like, I there, there's like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know anybody other than myself that drives all over the Southwest for music. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, it's a living. Hey, you could have a worse job, right? You know. I'm just saying I get to listen to a lot of country music and you know, this album, I'm going to give it, you know, I'll give it two thumbs up. Um, I, actually, I shouldn't even have said that before the review, uh, but just wait for the review. It'll be on country road entertainment. The news section. And, and I, I was actually pleasantly surprised. No offense guys, but I'm just like, <laughs> I, I was kind of nervous when I started listening to it. I was like, please don't be poppy. Please don't be, you know, a lot of auto tune. Don't be so modern that I can't get through it. But I got through it. I liked it. I, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of pleasant. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mike is. Mike looks. Mike's eating. <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> he wants to take a break for a moment. I'll get a refill. Okay, you can have a refill. All right, we'll bring him. Bro, what are you eating? <laughs> You got to share. Oh, nice. Yeah, my internet went out at home, so now I'm on my uh, my mobile phone. <laughs> I'm oh, sitting in my, uh, my pop-up trailer in the backyard now. Oh, I dig it. Wow. Here, let's take another comment here. Oh, uh, Mom's back. Just to brag on my girl, she has a great voice as well. Great. Why does my mom not come up on these? I have a great <laughs> radio voice. I think I do, anybody, but you know. Yeah. That is one thing that got glanced over when we were talking and introducing her earlier is Marissa forgot to say that she does sing and she has a phenomenal voice. So we're trying to work that in more into into our, our songs and our You know who else sings? Stuff. Our drummer right here. He does. <laughs> right, right there. So, no, do you, so this drummer, do you, right here. Do you, do you, do you? Are the drums mic'd at all times? Do you have like an overhead, or how do you do that? Yeah, yeah. We normally do that depending on the the size of the place and that sort of thing. But uh, we have uh, uh, we're lucky enough down here to oftentimes have a great sound guy that we work with, Randy. Uh, at uh, Desert Sound, right? Is that uh, Desert yeah. Sound? Yeah. Yep. Um, Randy, and and Randy, Randy's amazing. Randy's not the same guy who works at Casino Del Sol, too, right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? He may have. He may do stuff there. Does he have a beard? Yeah. No. 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 Okay. No. no. I might. I may. I might be thinking of some somebody. Uh, somebody else. Oh, here we go. We got another shout out for Marissa. I'm trying to I figure out if I can just focus it on Marissa because she's turning very red on my end, but I can just see the coloring on the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Multi-talented, yes. No, we're fans. I I, I really think you're a, um, a phenomenal fiddle player. Um, 
my wife and I, that's what, you know, I, I, we have the exact same taste in music. Actually, we have the exact same taste in everything. So that's the only reason why I got married a second time. Otherwise, <laughs> I'd still be alone in the townhouse. <laughs> I wish I was in my mortgage was way lower than this nonsense. But yeah, but yeah, yeah we're both big fiddle fans. And uh, yeah, I was impressed. You, you, you see people trying um, and uh, it's just amazing, though, for the most part, Arizona's got so much talent in general. And I just love it when another one pops out. It's like, all right, I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. Uh, let's see here. Who else do we have? Um, Tom Buffalo. Marissa has gone to Weezer where they have the national fiddle competition. Okay, that's my dad, and he's actually mistaken. I haven't been to Weezer, <laughs> but I have been to the, what was it, Washington Northwest Regionals? I don't know. When I was younger, I did some competitions. I didn't win them. Not a big deal. <laughs> That's funny. So what what competitions have you done? Um, just like Northwest Regional, there was a Post Falls, Idaho fiddle contest. I'm from Idaho, so everything I did is up in that area, Idaho, Spokane, Washington area. You're from, so what, what brought you from Idaho? Arizona? Because that's two. I just went to the I, Idaho the, for the first time a few years ago, and that's completely different than here. Yes. It is across the whole country. <laughs> um, yeah, my husband's job got us down here. Okay, all right. So, and, and you get again. You said he's in law enforcement. You said, yeah, yeah. So he's a cop. Cut, yeah. <laughs> so basically, the next time I I'm in town, and if I meet him, be very very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you swear? Can you swear in front of him or? Well, I don't. I'm just, I'm just joking. You really don't have to answer <laughs> that question. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, and folks, for those of you still watching, um, be sure to hit that uh, that like button, especially on YouTube. You hit that like button and that subscribe button. And there's a little bell off to the right. If you hit that, uh, every time we do another interview or live feed or even just one of our music lodge, vlogs, excuse me, uh, you'll get a notification. And we really appreciate it. And if you do like what we're doing here, um, definitely take a look at us over at www.patreon.com forward slash um, uh, country road entertainment. And I had to think for a moment there. I apologize. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, Darlene Robinson. Love our County Live family. Yeah. Do we know that's Darlene? My, that's my, my beautiful wife who, who complained about my shirt. Oh, is that you in the picture? <laughs> that poor thing oh uh, yeah actually that is yes you, you have to give you got to get the ladies in our life credit for putting up with us that's all i can say oh god yeah oh yeah mom's back i really do enjoy the whole band there see that now she's backpedaling she's been bragging about her daughter the whole time she's like oh, <laughs> oh my bad i'm sorry they're, they're great Let's see here. What do we got? Um, hey, Eddie, if you want to let uh, Mark back in here, I, I've got to go uh, get some water as well. Okay. 10 4, I'll bring him up. Very thirsty. <laughs> Why do I feel like you short somebody here? There we go. For some reason. Yeah, okay. Aaron uh, Buffalo says we're, we are huge fans here in North Idaho. Candleline Worldwide. I smell <laughs> a national tour coming on, or at least a <laughs> region. That would be fun. That would be amazing. I like Louise. I really do. Yeah. I like her. Most people do. <laughs> Louise, can you call my mom? I'll, I'll, get, I'll send you her number off air. And, um, well, if she keeps not participating, I might just give her number away on the air. No, <laughs> my mom and, tell her I'm her. Okay. and then I'd like a little bit of attention once in a while. I mean, my wife isn't even watching the stream. Actually, that's a good question. Y'all watching the stream? This is a weird thing about working from home now, like having the studio in the house. Tell her that you, you made sacrifices yesterday, professional sacrifices. And she should support you now and watch the show. That is the worst advice ever. <laughs> 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 not that advice. 
I, I think you should take it. <laughs> when, this, when this airs as a podcast next week, for the record, I will never, ever, ever. That's something I would have said to my friend's wife. Trust me, I did work. I, I, I could say the worst thing I ever said to her, and I meant it as a compliment, but it echoed for 10 years. So it was not the right thing to say. And I, I could tell Marissa off air one time. Um, it'll take two shots of fireball before I admit it in public. <laughs> All right. We have a, a hello from Naomi. Do we know a Naomi? She's a friend of mine from Idaho. Excellent. So, well, Naomi, yes. well, welcome. Thanks for saying hi. Be sure to hit the like button. It helps us more than you know. A lot of people don't know, like as a like a, a YouTube creator, Facebook creator, those likes and those subscribes and everything like that, you know, um, that helps, you know, like so I got two kids and a dog, and that dog is hungry. So every time they hit a like, I'm supposed to buy the dog food. Because this is pretty much all I get for they come. <laughs> There's a guy on YouTube. He always says, you know, if you, you like and su subscribe, and um, you know, it, it helps because he's got two poodles and they're hungry, and he's got these two massively huge poodles. It's, so he's really not joking. <laughs> but then again, I have a I have a uh, German Shepherd named after Burt Reynolds, so I have my own issues. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Bandit. We don't call him Bandit. He's called the Bandit. So, and any yeah, I was wondering if that was Smokey and the Bandit, Burt Reynolds, or Boogie Nights, Burt Reynolds. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I, I actually have a joke now that I could say about that, but it's not kid friendly. <laughs> I'll just play this. It's the wrong breed of dog for that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Mackenzie Carter says hello. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Hey Eddie, you you mentioned being a stepfather. Yes. Well, this this is my stepdaughter, Mackenzie, and uh, she's pretty awesome. She she made being a, a step parent very easy for me. Right on. How old is she? She's nineteen, right? Nineteen ish, twenty ish, right around. No, she's twenty ish, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I still get three more years. So mine just turned 15 and actually she's pretty easy. So, you know, with that, I can definitely relate The boy. Not so much. He's confused. Between, <laughs> I, I shouldn't even get into it, but it's like, we, it's like a competition between him and his dad or myself and his dad. And it's not supposed to be a competition. The kid's just nine years old and he's, you know, he's confused, you know, you know, Eddie, I, I have some other advice yeah. with regard to that. Um, you didn't well, want to take my advice about yeah. parenting, but, if you want to invite dad over for a street fight, would that oh would that help things? Or no? <laughs> See, no? I can tell you some stories off air, but <laughs> I'm not allowed. Like, so we, we got dragged into family court. Like as soon as um, as soon as we got engaged, things got hairy, Ooh, and I am not I'm not allowed in the same room with him. Now, I haven't I haven't punched him. I haven't hurt him. I haven't threatened him. But he, they are concerned that this redneck might flap him up. Now, is that a possibility? Oh yeah, it's it's a strong possibility. We'll just leave that there. Again, that's that's an offline topic, and I probably said too much. Hopefully, my in-laws aren't working, but or watching. But uh, we can definitely have a chat when I'm in Tucson next. <laughs> uh, let's see, Jason. Cheers to Smudge Pops and Camp Tacos. Oh yeah, he does make a mean elk taco. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's a smudge pot? Well, it's it's the like 15 years from now when we all come down with cancer, that's going to be the cause so of it. Positive, jeez, dude. That was yeah. Well, l let me tell you about this smudge pot. So they take this this They're metal amazing. thing, they they fill it with like diesel fuel and Clorox wipes or something like that, and just Cooking light oil. it on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this thing is giving off like tons of heat throughout the uh, the, the camp, but uh, yeah, you could probably run a, a city off of you know the energy oh. that's created from one of those things. Yeah. Okay. So I need to hang out with you guys. In the future. <laughs> yeah, that's really what I'm hearing. Blah blah blah. <laughs> hang out with these guys. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do we got? Um. Um, 
Eddie, the supporter and a spouse, I appreciate you spotlighting these uh, amazing, talented musicians. They deserve it. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Um, Thank and you, Kelly. I don't, Kelly. If you if you're not familiar familiar with the uh, Country Road on Facebook, before to be sure to hit that like button over there. But yeah, these guys are great. Um, I'm really glad that they uh, uh, reached out. Um, I'm a little concerned about his sarcasm, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's a good as time. you should be, as you should be. If you're looking for a co-host on uh, other, you know, live streams, you, let me know. Are you? Um, you're gonna hire? Actually, I was a little worried. I, we, we, I usually have two moderators in the chat, and I was really kind of concerned about that because last week we had um, some major issues by oh. trolls, and um, basically they didn't show up today. So that's. But if you ever want to be a moderator or jump in as an assistant, that's cool too. Wait, I, the, the, whoa, whoa, whoa! Being close up here, okay. <laughs> I was trying. I'm not trying to be random. I'm just like looking up. I'm like, so the box. It's like closed my frame of view back here. I just noticed because there's six of us. Um, moving on. <laughs> I just haven't looked at myself the whole time. We we know everybody's looking at Marissa and Mark. That's what it is. Uh, well, it, it I, is she is such an easy target guy. That poor, how does she how does she work with a bunch of dudes all the time? That's all I can say. I'm here to provide entertainment. Fair enough. Marissa has a stepsister also named Marissa. Yes, really? very random fact, Dad. <laughs> we didn't know that. <laughs> One of the best interviews ever. I, I mean, this is great because whoever's watching right now and whoever's going to be watching and listening to the podcast, we are really get, getting to know these people because all their family is trolling them. Yeah, and it's, it's bizarre. Uh, I'm looking at all of our social media right now, and our fans uh, have dropped about 25% since yeah. uh, we started. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I saw my group helmet at. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Mike over there in his pop-up trailer in his backyard, and Marissa's yep. got a sister with the same name. I mean, hey, that's a country song if I've ever heard one. That's right. <laughs> Let's write it. Uh, Eddie, Wolf, the music, the music. <laughs> hey, Sharon. Maybe this is a good time to go back to the album and play another track. Wow. I, I got to say hi to my Aunt Sharon. Hi, Aunt Sharon. Hey. How are you doing? Oh, we got here uh, Dan Barry. This is my other brother, Daryl. <laughs> oh, my God. Eddie, I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Right. You, okay. you drank a little too much water there, Dan. <laughs> you know what's actually funny? My bartender tells me what I drink is water. <laughs> I'm a Miller You're guy. Miller, Miller Light and Coors Light is what I drink when I go out. And so I, I literally actually, there's two bartenders um, that always ask me, they're like, hey, do you need, need another water? And it throws everybody off at the bar. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, Sharon says that she loves y'all. Hi, Sharon. Oh, thank you. Nick disappeared. One, two, three, four. Where, where you are? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, here let's uh, let's queue up another song here to chat about. Let's see, we've been at this for about an hour and twenty, so uh, let's queue up another one, chat about it, and let's um, kind of push the album a little bit more uh, before we start wrapping things up. Um, uh, let's see here, which one? Why don't we start with this one? So again, folks, this is the County Line's newest album, Last Call. This song is called Drive. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. Had you on my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. think we cut off there, Eddie. Oh, did it mute, mute that on you? 
It did. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Well, we can try that again. It is, yeah. See, up until now, I just had the mix board without all the technology stuff. Yeah, literally, guys, I apologize. It's like my fourth podcast. We've yeah. always done all these interviews oh. in person. So <laughs> I had to learn how to do this virtually very quickly. Uh, let's see here. Do that up real quick. So, Marissa, Marissa, you can laugh at me instead now. All right. Okay. 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 Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That good now? There you go. Woke up this morning at 5 a.m. Had you on my mind. Being them, oh, I got out of bed, put on my boots, and went for a drive. Go for a drive to clear up my mind, but it does me no good because I can't see the light. Hey, you hear that, that dipping thing? Actually, I don't know where coming from I, I was having that problem on my ipad and on the uh, computer earlier um hotspot, so when you offered me to, to send the uh the songs i should have probably taken that versus streaming them off the internet i guess so no worries so that song drives so tell us about uh the inspiration behind the lyrics here so nick wrote that one uh and we actually had the majority of that song for the last couple of years. Um, you know, honestly, we, we took way too long to actually put this together. Um, Nick, tell us about Drive. Um, that was a, uh, that was a real song. Those were um, real emotions after a, a breakup. And um, I, I just remember waking up one morning and uh, I, literally went for a drive and thinking, you know, usually um, you go for a drive and just to kind of relax and, you know, clear your head. Um, and it didn't help at all. So that's where the, uh, I go for a drive just to go for a drive. Cause that's pretty much all I did. It didn't help me um, get through anything. So, you know, Eddie, when it, when it came to recording that song, that was the, oh. uh, the, the very last song that, that we end up recording and putting on this album. And in my opinion, you know, we, we actually re we recorded it here at the house. Uh, Kyle and I mixed the thing, uh, put it together. And, and I think that one turned out the best. Uh, I, I think the vocals turned out great on it. Uh, and one of the things that, that I really like about that song is that, and I like with a lot of country music is that coming from the rock background, you want to do too much with that song. When we were trying to come up with our parts, it's just like, just stay out of the way. Let Nick tell the story, let him sing, let the song, you know, do the work. And, and I think it turned out great. I, I love that song. Yeah, no, it's really. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh. And I, and I think that that song probably, I mean, I didn't realize it was actually based on real life experiences. Sometimes you hear these inspirations and it's a, you know, it's very general, but, um, I'm pretty sure all of us have been through that before. So, you know, and especially at this stage and age or day and age, um, I think it's really important when your content really, even more than ever before, it really needs to speak to people. They need to be able to really relate. You want to say with music that all, you know, throughout history, everyone relates to this or that, but people's attention spans are so short now that if you do not speak to them, they will not listen. And I think that, you know, I think you did a good job there. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Kelly's uh, requesting a 24. So let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's cue that up real quick. Um, 
Uh, but before we do so, um, if you guys want to go ahead and um, list out, like, the album is has been released. You can go to the website and get it. Where can they buy it? Can they get it on Apple Tunes and Amazon and whatnot? Yeah, it, you can get it on iTunes. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I, I think the only place where I haven't found it, and we got to figure it out, is uh, Pandora. But it's on it's on Google, Amazon, uh, Spotify. Uh, yeah, so you got to just search up uh, the County Line, and uh, you you can find the, the Last Call album on there. All right, we'll pop the name of the album again back on the screen so they can see it. Yeah, and the um, the website, the County Line AZ dot com is uh is where you can go as well it's got all the links on there uh just like eddie said you know hey we're, we're not uh we're not looking for money or anything like that uh, you know we don't have a virtual tip jar but if you want to give us a like on facebook you want to do that stuff we'd appreciate it thank you all right yeah and, and i just want to just add to that support local live music folks so definitely go and uh, check out the album and uh heck pick it up on itunes folks don't listen to him <laughs> tell your friend all right let me cue this up here again this is a24 on the album last call One more day to catch that fly. Like this comes once in life. Will you call me or play it safe? Are we living out our final day? But I know I shouldn't be thinking what I am. And I know. So we both got a choice to make. You keep telling me it's a big mistake. You definitely hear the fiddle in there. So, but now the song makes sense to me since we talked about it. It was the, the gate or the runway was 824. Right. The gate, yeah, the gate. The gate. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I dig that. So, what what was the draw to, to write this? This is this is kind of cool. <laughs> so, I, I guess my little talent is uh, coming from the the rock guitar playing. I'm good at at maybe doing a a, a ten second riff, and uh -huh. then I need someone else to actually fill out the song. Okay. And I've been playing that that riff for Kyle quite a bit, and uh, we sat down and. And he came up with the first line and then pretty much the, the rest of the song after that. Awesome. How long did it take you to write? I always like to ask that question. <laughs> I, I think Kyle took, uh, we, we had the, the first few lines and then uh, he went home and he had the, pretty much the, the whole rest of the song the next day. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like you hear people that do it like a day, people that do it in 10 minutes. If I try to write a song, it'd be like 10 years. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's something plugged up in here we've been trying to figure it out for about 20 years now have no idea doctor's got no answer for it. Sad. there's like no flow but yeah see, that's why i ask because you, you some great songs they just don't take that long i mean you, you know i think it was uh um well you know i want to talk about it. like you, you go i'm trying to think of a good example of a uh, a country singer that uh, that's had stories like that, but I keep getting stuck on this Kenny Rogers and Joe Diffie thing. Tell me, it has not been depressing the last you know month with these guys. Oh no! Oh my no. God! Who would have thought that Joe Diffie would announce? Now he had it, I think, for a week, but he announced that he had coronavirus, and then forty-eight hours later, he's gone. It's crazy. Just, uh, uh, all right, we'll take it. Take it back to last call. All right. <laughs> so, well, I think we're about the hour and a half mark. Um, let's see if we got any uh, more uh, chatters in here. Uh, let's see here. Jay's back. Kyle has a hidden gem of a song in the holding called 
Lucky Wish. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That does that that doesn't even sound appropriate. No, these are stories. Oh. These are stories about the things that happened after last call that uh, Kyle was talking yeah. about. You don't. Yeah, we I think don't that was written in a. Uh, that was written in a hotel room up there in the uh, Mesa area with uh, Jason there. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where I live in Mesa, do I need to leave town now? <laughs> I can't remember which hotel it was. <laughs> Uh, right on, right by, I want to go. Whatever. Actually, aren't the hotels are they all closed now? Did they close? I, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Christmas! But, but literally, so you did that in a Mesa hotel, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're writing songs, sometimes you uh, you throw some things away, and this is one of those that uh, got thrown away. Oh. <laughs> Not sure if we'll see the light of day. So. So it's gone. It's just gone, is what you're telling me. That, you know, it needs to be forgotten. <laughs> see, I'm curious. Does anybody have that written down anywhere? I want to see this now. <laughs> and Actually, I think it is. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, we're like the mob. Okay, if you want to come into a writing session, we're going to take your phone. Uh, we're going to search you, and you can't leave with any of the uh, incriminating evidence. Uh, That's too. It's a nice strap back there. Oh, thank you. That's the uh, the very first one I learned how to play on. She needs a little work. I made the mistake of lending it out. Actually, there used to be recently. Uh, I had about uh, nine or ten guitars, uh, but that's what happened in a really uh, ugly um, custody battle. So half of them are sitting in a, a store right now for sale. So. Yeah. There is one. I got one V left, but uh, she's going to head down pretty soon. So that's okay. Because in a couple of months, once all this is over, there will be two more guitars up on the walls anyway. So nice. My wife actually, we have an acoustic out out in the um, living room hanging up. It's my uh, wife. Uh, her father passed away a couple of years ago, and it's his old Yamaha. And I've actually heard on that thing in the middle of the night because i um up until recently i basically did not sleep but you would hear this coming off of that thing and every now and then it would hear someone like uh sound like someone picking the cords wow. now i just pretend not to hear it because <laughs> i don't know if it's him or if the house is haunted and i'm pretty sure at this point we we don't have a second floor and i keep hearing loud footsteps and bangs at night so I'm pretty sure it's something going on well if you're looking for another place uh mike said he's got a, a trailer out back if you want to go hang out at his place no i'm good i got he's a got 27 <laughs> footer bro uh, if i need to run uh, saddle up <laughs> it's my it's my office right now come on guys <laughs> yeah but you don't have air conditioning to pop up do you It'd be horrible i do i do actually it's uh actually put ac in those oh there yeah, yeah got I'm oh, it's i got a shower and a, and a and a toilet and everything <laughs> now, okay, so, family. now my wife's not on the screen so marissa is the uh token female would you shower in that thing hon i'd rather not but if there was the only option oh, okay. well, you, well, take a home. <laughs> this, thing, this thing's amazing come on come on now <laughs> this thing. It, it's like one of those all-in-one units mike what is it like you know, taking a shower there you go we're gonna oh, yeah, do, this. do your business. So Mina Briggs states, uh, Dave and I will be first to fly when all this is over and you guys are out playing again. Also yes. says out for sure. Yeah, That's Mina awesome. was uh Thank she's you. part of our, our Tucson crowd. Um got to go to Mexico with, with Mina and the rest of the crowd uh for a country fest down there. Uh great people. Outstanding. Outstanding. Well, hey, guys, I think we're going to wrap this up. It was super great to, to actually finally meet y'all. Um, and as soon as all this comes down and I can leave my, my damn house, I'm going to cuss right. I am so tired of being in my house, man. Like I said, <laughs> hey, I was locked in way before. Like, um, I, I actually I have to look on my calendar. Um, I don't know exactly how long I've been in here, but it's um, it's been since I got back from Prescott. So I, I don't know if it's six weeks or I, I have no clue. But as soon as I can get out of here and head back to Tucson and music playing, 
um, I will be up there with y'all. And uh, oh, one, I'll take one more comment just because it's about Marissa. <laughs> Love y'all. Take care of my girl. Well, Mom, thanks for watching. Awesome. And uh, y'all uh, give uh, give Dirty Dan my best. Tell him to take a bath. As soon as <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he needed one. <laughs> well, the screen was pixelated. I don't know if that was dirt or what. You see, now I'm trolling Dan too. So. Look, I'm like one of the group now. Perfect. You fit right in, Eddie. We really appreciate it. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, thanks, yeah, guys, thank for coming. Thank you so much for this. Really great. I, I wish you guys the best with this album. And, um, you know, I'll reach out. I'm out here when all this again, when I, when everything lifts and when America, God bless America, that when America opens up, again, um, love to see you up here in the valley. That'd be great. There's and you guys, if you guys know the area, there's a lot of great venues in Chandler too. Yeah. Like, we're we're Mesa, but and Chandler's awesome. Mesa's got awesome. There's some good ones out east, but there we got to get you up here. So uh, let's make that happen. Yeah, sure. yeah definitely. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it, Eddie. Hey, anytime. And yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just saying thank you. Oh, you're welcome, bud. I'm sorry. There's a little latency over there. So it's because you're wearing a Wildcat shirt. What can I tell you? <laughs> you wore the Sun Devil shirt, you'd be in 4K like me. So, although I don't even know if you guys realize I changed angles, my, my camera died. <laughs> We did notice that. We thought it was that artistic choice of yours. Uh, I like to go artistic, but that is not my choice. <laughs> not that but again, thanks for being on, guys. Um, best of luck with the new album. Um, we'll do some posts for it here in the, the uh, upcoming week. And uh, for those of you watching, we will be doing a full-on review on uh, our website, www.countryroadentertainment.net. We'll summarize the interview here with the folks or with the band and uh, the album as well. And um, and if they want, maybe we'll insert a couple of clips on it from uh, iTunes as well. So thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you, Thank everyone. You. Thanks for having us, Eddie. Yeah, absolutely. Hope to see you guys sooner than later. All right. Be good. Be safe. Yes. Wash your hands, Marissa. <laughs> Teach the boys how to wash your hands. Boys are dirty, aren't they? <laughs> Here, I'll show you guys before we go. I'm going to show you this. So, um, uh, uh, feller up here, his name goes by Matt Ferris. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's got his own moonshine and everything. That, that comes out of Copper Soul Distillery. So I was lucky when I when I shut down the event. He was nice enough to come over and he dropped off some moonshine, played some music on uh, my, my wife's daddy's guitar for my daughter and her. And my wife will, if you're a musician and you want to randomly stop playing, pay, play music, my wife will not throw you out. Like it happens <laughs> a lot. She loves it. I'm probably right. These days it's probably the only thing that she likes about me, but anywho, um, copper still distillery. Somehow I got this in my hand. They're making hand sanitizer. I nice. used it today. It's pretty much tequila with lime. So <laughs> I smell like tequila. And it's there a good thing go. I don't leave the house because I'm pretty sure if I use this and drove, they think I would drink. <laughs> like it's potent. You look at it. That does not look like gel. That looks like pure, you know, clear. I can breathe now. Let's put it. That way. <laughs> okay. Good seeing y'all. Have a great one. Have Thank a good you. One. Thanks. Thank you guys. All right. Well, folks, thanks again for watching. That was just a really fun experience. Again, that was County Line out of Tucson, Arizona. Great group of musicians. Lots of fun. Lots of great personalities. Check out their new album again. It's called Last Call. Uh, six really killer tracks on it. I loved it. Um, and uh, again, look look for the review coming out here pretty soon. They are on iTunes and Amazon, so check that out. And as always, you know, we've mentioned it before. If you're new here, um, definitely check out our YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching from Facebook, hit that subscribe button and that alert notification, that notification bell there. So we do a lot of these. And um, when, once the, the quarantine and everything is li uh, lifted with COVID, we are back on the road and we are interviewing, traveling with bands. That's a whole lot of fun. And we hope to be down in Tucson real soon, too, um, once we can. And if you're uh, watching from Facebook, 
definitely give us a like on uh, Country Road Entertainment and then follow us on uh, Live Country Music in Arizona. Currently with the COVID-19 situation, we have made that our online honky-tonk. So if you all like country music and you like live streams, uh, definitely check that out because every day when all the bands come up, uh, we try to get as many of those uh, fellers to post them in there, and there's some great music. So, again, thanks again for watching, or watching and we'll uh, see you.